Yeah. So all my government officials, they take an oath. They swear to uphold, defend, preserve, protect the Constitution like our military officials and our military personnel, that they will defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. It's interesting that we're training our law enforcement that people who have constitutions or quote the Constitution or say, no, I have a right, I have a Fourth Amendment, I have the First Amendment, I can go to whatever church I want, I have freedom of speech, the freedom to get together and speak to others, okay? The freedom to redress grievances with my government, the right to keep and bear arms. Remember that. When those day, when that day comes. All right, some more news. Here's some police state news. Yeah, what do you know about the police state? Isn't that the thing they're building? Remember now we have SWAT teams, you know, this. But this is interesting. I call it police state because now the Army is buying $6 million worth of riot gear. Now remember, we're using the military to do gun confiscations in the United States. Don't believe me. Type in gun confiscation in Katrina. Okay? We now have paramilitary forces not answerable to you, the people. Remember Blackwater, who are now changing their names because they've been bad people. They've been shooting innocent people and stuff. Yeah, Blackwater now calls himself XE. Don't believe me? Look it up. Why believe me anyway? I'm just on your TV. All right, my lips are moving. Maybe I'm not telling you the truth. How would you know? Would you care to look? Does any of this matter? Now that the Congress says they're going to fund FEMA camps to hold a million people, and they're building six of them at old military bases, a million people each? Yeah, okay. So, gun confiscation drills, FEMA camps being built and funded. We're giving thousands of dollars to bankers. Yet you get pennies. And it's your money. And these bankers are all crooks. And all their buddies are in your government. And who, who funded Obama? Was it Goldman Sachs who gave him the most money? Is it just me? You know, I guess that couldn't be, right? District of criminals. But, you know, you're ready for change because that's what you wanted. So anyway, yeah, the United States Army is buying um, hmm, $6 million worth of riot stuff. And I guess the, the request was titled the 84-Dash Riot Equipment. Do you remember Rex 84? Let's show you a little clip. This is Oliver North. Remember the honest guy? Remember the, the CIA moving drugs for money? I mean, Iran-Contra? Here's Oliver North. Yeah, watch these guys dance around this while those criminals up in Washington say, well, let's not talk about that. Colonel North, in your work at the uh, NSC, were you not assigned at one time to work on plans for the continuity of government in the event of a major disaster? Mr. Chairman... I believe that question touches upon a highly sensitive and classified area, so may I request that you not touch upon that, sir? I was particularly concerned, Mr. Chairman, because I read in Miami papers and several others that there had been a plan uh, developed by that same agency, a contingency plan, in the event of emergency that would suspend the American Constitution. And I was deeply concerned about it and wondered if that was the area in which he had worked. I believe yeah, that he was. Yeah, I most, I wondered, it yeah, I most respectfully request that that matter not be touched upon at this stage. If we wish to get into this, uncertain arrangements can be made for an executive session. Rather interesting clip with Ollie North, wasn't it? Yeah, how they did have this continuity of government thing. And it's getting even better now that Bush is in. We have the Presidential Directive uh, 51. Yeah, PDD. I think you should read it. Remember the Patriot Act? They pushed that through without reading it. Do you remember the bailout bill? Oh, you may not remember. Well, let's listen to some people, okay? Your congressman who said that they were threatened with martial law if they didn't sign the bailout bill. Lady from Ohio. The only way they can pass this bill is by creating and sustaining a panic atmosphere. That atmosphere is not justified. Many of us were told in private conversations that if we voted against this bill on Monday, that the sky would fall, the market would drop two or 3,000 points the first day, another couple thousand the second day, and a few members were even told that there would be martial law in America if we voted no. That's what I call fear-mongering, unjustified, proven wrong. We've got a week, we've got two weeks to write a good bill. The only way to write, to pass a bad bill, keep the panic pressure on. Now, what has the Senate done to this bill? 
So I guess you thought I was kidding when I said your congressmen were threatened with martial law if they didn't sign the, quote, banker bailout bill. This is the big ripoff, folks. All right, let's see. Yeah, we went, we discussed in the news those terror memos, how they came out and how the memos said, you know, gee, they revealed that all the rights of Americans were effectively stripped. Yeah, you remember the whole Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, the John Warner Defense Authorization Act? They're still in effect. Obama changed. He didn't change those, did he? He didn't rescind any of those. He hasn't, he's not pushing for you to get your rights back, is he? No, they're planning stuff. I wonder what kind of stuff they're planning. Yep. Hmm. There's so much interesting stuff here in the news anyway. Let's see, this has got to do with those wonderful memos. I, we'll come back to that, and that is, you know, um, the power to dispose of liberty of individuals captured. Uh, okay, remain in the hands of the president alone. That's, remember, John Yu wrote that, right? John Yu, who was he? Hmm. He was the one who said I could torture a child in front of their parents legally if the president said so, and I could use pliers on their testicles. That's the kind of government you have in Washington. Yeah, that's the kind of attorneys and lawyers they have. Torture's okay in America now. You know why? Because they do it on 24. That's right, the conditioning box, that thing you call the television. Yes, they've conditioned you watching 24, right, where Jack Bauer's got to torture the children of would-be terrorists. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's getting pretty ugly now. And they're probably going to pull a, another false flag event. And it'll probably be either, you know, nuclear or biological. And that way they can shut down the roads and the distribution of food and people and say, well, gee, it's because of this huge terror event we've lost an American city or maybe two or three of them, okay? Or there's some pandemic and you all have to go get your shots. You think I'm jesting. You probably think I'm kidding. You probably think that couldn't happen here. Gee. Detention facilities built in the United States to hold millions of people in your Congress and Senate voting on it two weeks ago. But that couldn't happen here in America. Okay, spying on Americans. I told you they turn the satellites in now. Okay, the Army War College says what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to practice engaging the U.S. That's us. So anyway, for today's news, so once again, we went over, gee, Congress was threatened for the banker bailout. But, uh, hey, how about Madoff, right? <laughs> when they're grilling the SEC people, congressional testimony, they're grilling them. How come you didn't go after Madoff? You knew for 10 years the guy was a crook. Well, we were told not to, national security. We were told not to, presidential orders and stuff. So these stinking criminals in the District of Criminals, okay, are not only stealing from you, but it's going to get worse. This is what happened in many other times in history. And if we, you, don't get up and do something, it's going to happen to you. It's going to happen to your family because you did nothing. Yeah, last week's show was what happens when good men do nothing. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's time for you good men out there to start considering doing something. So anyway, yeah, so we get the War College, you know, engaging Americans. That's what they're writing about. Hey, what are you planning on doing? Oh, the Army's buying riot gear. What are they planning on riots? We're going to use the Army inside the America. Northcom tells you that they're deploying 20,000 soldiers on our streets. What are they planning? Gets better. Okay, gun confiscation things, the FEMA camps. Are you putting any of this together? FEMA camps, gun confiscation, army, you know, riot equipment. What are they planning? Meanwhile, these globalist banksters have what? Have, have, have stripped and ripped off your economy to, to the form of trillions. They're spending in a week now what our whole national budget was. Okay, so anyway, the bailout. Let's go uh, another recap on the bailout. And I'm getting kind of windy and fast because I've got a lot to cover. So the bailout. Was any money in the bailout to help farmers plant crops or maybe give them loans so they can buy fertilizer, let alone the seed stock? Get ready for food being short next fall because our farmers are getting screwed. Sorry. Wake up, you listeners. Wake up, you viewers. Find out what's happening to the American farmer, okay? Who's taking them out? Okay? The other thing is, any money given to fishermen so that maybe you could have fish on your table? You know, we bail out bankers. AIG. AIG's up to 200 billion now. 200 billion of your dollars. Heck, we built the big dig for 14. Are you getting it yet? What service have they provided for the American consumer or anybody? Screw the consumer. What have they provided a service for you or your family? These are rip-off banksters stealing from you, yet your real infrastructure, once again, the production of food, Okay, bridges, highways, roads, railways, anything important. None of that's getting funded. Yet Obama's bringing you change. He pushed for another stimulus bill. Stimulus, it's not stimulus, it's the opposite. 